All right, so uh, today's video is going to be a short video on a van project. Uh, so it was supposed to be a travel day, leaving Kochiki Lake here, and got up this morning and the floor was wet. The water pump was leaking, so we had to replace it. Now we had a foot pump manual so that we have a tendency to use less water, in our opinion, but you ain't going to find those off the shelf, so we went to a electric. So let's show you the manual pump foot pump we had so and this is actually our second one it's a by well uh, so it just mounts on the floor like that and it's got you know you push that with your foot it's got a output and an input or yeah input and output and the past two times both times it was you can kind of see it where it's rusting right here this aluminum so I'm assuming it's the diaphragm of, of the pump that's leaking uh, it wasn't a lot it wasn't leaking constantly I think it was only doing it while you were pumping it but it was enough to have you know water pulling up on the floor got our uh, car, one of our mats wet last night that's how we noticed it so so we went to an electric pump so uh, and that was not always our intention. Let's see if we can get how bad the lighting is in here. So, so there's our new pump. So before the floor pump was mounted there, and the pedal stuck out just in front of the vent there. So we, with the electric. We mounted above our diesel tank. Uh, it wasn't too bad putting in. Uh, it did say on the vertical to make sure you have the head of the pump facing down. Uh, so that's the imp that's the output, and then the inputs on the back side. And we're still going to be able to get both of our. So we got a, a two gallon roto pack there, and then we put a two gallon roto pack of diesel there, and another two gallon in front of the gray tank here. And uh, so yeah, so we put the switch. The switch is on the side here. So that's on. We didn't put a ground to the switch, just to the pump, so the light doesn't come on. And uh, watch out, okay, BB. So you can go pretty slow, pretty fast. It's rated at 2.9 gallons a minute, which is way more than we need, but that's about the smallest you're going to get. And of course we did wire it into the back on the DC switch. So now all of our panels are totally full. Our, uh, there's no more room on our DC block. <laughs> Hopefully that's the last thing though. And don't now I gotta remember to turn off the pump every time. Uh, but you'll hear it go doop, doop, you know, it'll bump. So we had that, you know, in our class A of course, so nothing new. And uh so yeah, it's always always a project to do, and it's always on travel day. Luckily, the rangers let us extend here. We were at our 14-day limit, but you know, there's not the campground ain't busy, so they so she said it was all right to extend it a day, a day or two, and then we'll be heading north. All right, thank you for watching. We'll try to get some that video on the ogre out on the the build on that, and uh, well, till then, see y'all later.